check that out. So I know it might look like a joke. Somebody drives around with their seat way up like that, but it's not. Brandy needs the seat that far forward. She's super happy that, don't look at the mess around here. She's, we're getting ready for a trip. We're headed out to uh, UTV Takeover in Oregon. You guys suck. I don't know when this video up, up, when this video up. We'll be, I don't know when this video will be we'll up. Will up? Yeah. In relation to other videos, maybe uh, we've already put up other videos where we're in Oregon. Who knows? But anyway, this is a video uh, about fixing a situation here for Brandy in this in this. In or this for here. short people in general. Yeah, for short people in general for this here vehicle. And so what, that, what it is is seat risers to bring up the seat two inches. So we'll show you again. Absolute mess in here because. Uh, we are, I mean, three days in a row now, um, last night till like midnight, night before till nine o'clock. These go under the seat, believe it or not. I bought them. I didn't make them. Uh, they look pretty cool to me. We're going to put them in right now. So check it out. And then we'll have Brandy show you how she feels about them. All right? Right. Definitely. Here we go. Okay, so these are the little brackets that raise the seat, seat risers. Danny's looking at me funny. But, so, we'll show you how those work right now. So what we're gonna do, like I showed you, Brandy has to have the seat all the way forward, and then still her head's only about, what, maybe there? Roughly. With the helmet, it'll be up here, but you know, her, <laughs> her vision is only about right here. Which is just, just, this thing, when I sit in it, my head, my neck is right here. It's a low rider. So, I mean, I can see out of it just fine, but Brandy can't. So, and she's going to be driving it a lot. At least quite a bit. So, what we're going to do is pull the seat out. I'm going to get these seat belts loose. And uh, put the bulb down there where we can find the trigger. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is pull this seat out. And then... Uh, and it can get a shot from over there. So basically all you do, this is super, super simple. See these, uh, these? I heard these are, I, oh, right here. Look at the wrong thing. See these nuts here? Boom. That goes out. Are we ready for that? And then you drop them down in there because, uh, these cars have crevices everywhere that go to nowhere. And you never find the bolts again, right? I'm a witness to it. I can help him. Yeah, he's a witness to it. I think you were a witness a little while ago. That's why we can't find them. No, never mind. I, I drop, I drop <laughs> a lot of bolts. If you see this, rip, this black razor out somewhere, yeah. You hear a lot of like bolts rattling yeah, around. Yeah. That's the Dandy off road. Yeah, we see them just kind of as we're driving. Bolts pick up, are pick them up out. for us. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I'm gonna lift these up. This. I'm gonna lift this up. These. I'm these? gonna lift these up. And I also have to lift these up. These. I'm gonna set these right here. Can you see these? These. So can if you can see these. You pull those up too, because those go on the bottom. They kind of sandwich. Kind of like cradle it. Yep, yep. For the roundness of the bar. I'm gonna set this over here, and these get bolted back on with the factory hardware. Uh, looks like the holes are just slightly. You got a hammer? Slightly off. So we might have to persuade them into place. Oh, that one oh, that one. Um, Give it off that day. Yeah, well, how? Looks happened? like that hole's not drilled out all the way. It's not. They drilled it from the top and they stopped part way through. Suckers. So, we'll drill that one out in a minute. Has to fit the rest of them. And if the rest of them are okay, ah, that one too. Oh, maybe not. So it's just my 20 one. bucks back. Hmm. Well. 
Okay. I got it to go. All mm -hmm. right, so now what we do is we just put the original nuts. Wait, is that correct? They gave us new nuts. Oh, nice. Is that correct? Yeah, because those bolts are just going to go right in. Right? So, we'll... Actually, we're going to be right back. <laughs> this is boring. Yeah, these are not super easy to get on either. I just want to say right now I'm blaming Danny for this. For what? <laughs> uh, well, I tried to get ratchet in for it. Yeah. All I asked was if they were going to fit. I didn't say not to get them. Okay. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> All right. Okay. So anyway, all joking aside, we got, I needed swivels anyway, but it just doesn't not quite fit in there. So we're going to crank it down. We had to go to the hardware store anyway. We had to get a bolt that Danny dropped over there. Or there. <laughs> I told you not to get the swivel once so I get the rest of your wrench. Yeah, that's what that's what happened. Yes. Reasons. Yeah. Well. Can you put that on a little bit faster? I think you're running out of video. Um it's a good thing we're only doing this on one side. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. We'll be right back. Yeah, we'll do that. Alexa, ask Geneva to turn off the AC. Turned off your air conditioner. Okay. Okay, so basically we have these mounted. Now we have to put, uh, now we gotta put the seat back on. Now we gotta put the seat back on. Alright? No, you gotta put the bracket back in. Back. Um, okay, so you missed uh, the install of the seat risers because you know you're at work. I was at work but, and I wanted it to be a surprise. Yeah, there it was a prize. It was a prize for you. It was a prize for me. So you, now you got to try them out. I'm gonna do it. Uh, so gotta, I'm gonna try them out. I gotta also try driving off of this because yep, I don't want to yeah. look stupid when I get in front of people. Exactly. Although I know I won't because look at this. Yeah. This trailer is bad a word. Yeah. Dude, thanks Rob again for coming over and welding and doing all kinds of work and making this easy to move. Yeah, yeah. We added this uh, gorilla lift on the gates. And yeah, you might look at it and say, oh, well, you made the gate heavy by putting the spare tire on it. It was already heavy. It was already heavy. We made it ridiculously heavy. This, uh, also, Blue Cross trailers out there in Hanford, California, uh, seriously, dude is awesome. Yeah. And his wife. You guys were amazing. So thanks for. I think, uh, you're, I think you have enough room. I don't know if I have enough room, so I, I think want you extra do. room. <laughs> okay, so we got to do a little uh, one of those safety, one of these walkovers. This side's a little harder because the other one's out. Is that the thing? Okay. Then the whole deal is you grab the handle. Yeah. Carefully, stay off to the side so you don't get whipped in the face in case anything goes awry. Yeah. And this is so much easier than I bet it was when you... Oh, yeah. And that drives right the, right the heck off. Okay. That's so right. I got a, now we have this e-track that you laid. Thanks, baby. Um, in here, so I don't have to do any kind of weird ratchet strap tie down anchors no. and like loosen up on the road. This is going to be our first long trip. Yeah. And for this, this we're getting ready to do a 1,300 mile round trip. We got to and, test it like crazy. And, and because of that, I... Uh, was that already loose or was it? No, oh, I loosened it. Because of that, I went ahead and bought four drill bonnets and set up the E-Track all the way. We're actually going to tie this thing down at four points. Because he left me. Because there's so many. And, and we have a camera. We can watch it. Camera's right up there. That's right. And that camera's bad. That camera's cheap. The camera's pretty cool. I did a little test on it. I should, I should have videoed, but there'll be plenty of videos of us driving this. Yeah, there will. And we'll be delirious, probably, making videos, just random stuff. Yeah. I haven't driven this car ever. It's easier to get in from over here. Oh, well, I like to make everything harder. 
I know. I want to see what kind of acrobatics I can do. You should have seen today. Okay. I'm not sure what you're doing. Right now. I don't know. It could be a cat <laughs> Um, so you should be able to fill that right away. Oh my god, I can't and I'm not even all the way forward yet. Yeah, uh, seat's a little wacky to scoot forward um, just because when I put the risers in it's a little out of adjustment. Let's see. It, just, it was okay. Whoops, I need to go a little further. Squeak. You good? Okay, yeah I'm good. Oh feel? my god, okay, I was already excited that Polaris finally designed a car for me. So when we get in the garage, we'll take a look at it and uh, maybe you can try on your belts. Tell me what you think. Yeah, I'm gonna put them over my shoulders right now just to look cool. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've adjusted all the belts. I matched my hat to the car. Yeah. I cleaned oh. the helmet, so we are almost ready. Uh, I'm all lit up here. Ready yeah. to hear it? Been learning trailer backing. She's doing pretty good. Nice. Right in the neighbors, you know. They don't mind. Yeah, see now you're about perfect. So just get on so get straight behind it and you're good. Just, no, no, don't turn the wheel that way, turn the wheel the other way. Other way, other way, other way. So uh, follow it now. Uh, now here's the thing, right? That was good practice. You're pretty much almost there. That was really good practice. Only one problem. We need the, the <laughs> razor in. So what? Here's what I would do. Go around the block. No, 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 no don't screw go. it up. Just get yourself. Just turn right. Get dead straight. Like stay close to that blue can. Stay close to the blue can which will line you up with where you're at right now. Okay. And just, but when, once you get out there, let it straighten out and leave it straight. And then you, all you'll have to do is back straight up and the trail will be, will be exactly where you want it when you're done. And then just, all right, leave the wheel straight. And then a little more. And then turn on the flashers, leave the car right there and get the razor. Okay. Nobody can come through the street. We're, block, we're blocking the whole street. No, no, you're, get, you're turning the steering wheel too much at a time. There you go. Go do that a little bit and then just straighten it out. A little bit, a little bit, straighten it out. Okay, uh, turn your wheel to the left. A little, a little. A little more. A little more back, a little more back, a little more back. That's perfect. Whoa. Am I good? Yeah. We gotta put some blocks under the wheels and drop it right there and we're good. Okay, so we got all the cars. 
We played musical, like we said, we played musical cars, musical trailer, trailer, trailer. musical trailers, musical side by sides. But uh, earlier when you weren't here, we set something up for you in the car that I thought would be beneficial. And it is going to be. I think it is, yeah. You want to pop the door open? I'll show you what kind of show you what's going on. And this, you know, if you're a, um, if you're a little bit vertically challenged, so just say it. I don't care. I can't. I don't have to clean the top of the fridge. But I mean, for anyone out there, for oh. any of our viewers, if they... anybody, if you have problems, and this is uh, this actually this model of Polaris is the first one that I've sat in, that I personally have sat in, where I could reach the pedals comfortably. But I still, you know, I'm a little. I'm five three. Mm -hmm. I'm three quarters some days. Um, so it's hard Quarter. for me sometimes to see over the hood. Yeah, exactly. It, it actually me even me sitting in this car with the seat all the way back. Um, the the this edge of the door is like at my shoulder. Yeah, so, it's pretty heavy. The yeah. last razor, I had to sit on pillows with pillows behind me and on them, and I still couldn't reach, and I was like that. So yeah, thank you, players, for listening to my uh, multiple emails and letters. Yeah, this one has. I mean, you know, you can it, it'll seat all all the way from a pretty tall. I think it goes like six forward and two up. There you go. But still, I need a little more visibility. My six three, you know, six three five three. Maybe now 6'3", I don't know. So you, what'd you put in there? The risers? Yep, so here's what we did. These are the risers, and we bought them from, and yes, Tyler will put a link if we don't remind us, because comments are king. Comments are king. Uh, but. We're going to put a link, and I did go back and put those links to And I would love to say where I got them from. I want to say Speed U TV. Didn't get them from there side by side. <laughs> you got them from Speed Not U TV? Speed U TV. What's the other one? That I um, you got it from UTV Parts. Zion. We don't know. We got these on the interwebs. They yeah, came, and magic. We, and if you really want to know, I mean, like, if you really, really need to know, find a way to message us. That would be fine. Or comment. Um, yeah. Or we'll try it's, to get it, you know, so we will do, do our best to put it down below. Anyway, here's what they look like. It's these little risers right here. Yeah, they uh, these definitely guys. made a difference. Yeah. So we're going to have you sit in there. Actually, yeah. no, why don't you go over on the passenger side. And okay, look. I'll see what a normal yeah. could look like in Europe if I was still... I didn't have any risers, and I had to drive on the left side of the car. Yeah, yeah look at that. So here I am driving. So let me kind of get a, I'll try to, some place for a reference. I'm going to. Hold me around. I'm driving. What I'm driving is there's something in front of me. I have to do this. I still can't really. I don't, and I'll be buckled in because I'm safe. So I'm like, oh, I can go this far. Yeah, and I'm going to hold the camera at this exact same height. I can only go this far with my harnesses on. I can't see. Yeah, the so, you're, so the door is pretty much at about your mouth. Oh. oh wow okay so i'm still now That's driving crazy. i'm driving oh is there something yeah there's a chair right there obviously who can see that it's plain yeah, so day. holding the plain camera the nose on my face holding the camera at the same height and i mean you can tell right oh yeah holy cow oh yeah makes a big sitting difference. here and see how low you are compared to how high i am anyways so look i mean just take a little sweeping view of this there's so many things that have happened in this car it's clean not that it wasn't clean anyways. Uh, we got this yes. rugged radio. Yeah, rugged radios. We got this installed. We got that 696. And just FYI, a, peop, a few people don't like that it sticks out so far. We're going to have a solution for that shortly. Yeah, there's a solution anyway. But uh, right now, it's going like this because it works beautifully. Simpson, harness, Simpson harnesses. Simpson harnesses. These are the um, five And there, real quick, I'm sorry. D3s? I'm scrolling right now. Oh. There's complete videos on the install of that, and there's going to be more coming and up. They're going to tell us all the features. Yeah, we're going to get them to sit in the car with us pretty soon when we go visit them and we have a sleepover. Mm -hmm. um, this also, the instructions are going to, the videos are going to detail how we cut the dash to get this little uh, dash mount in there so beautifully. That one's already up. Oh, well, go back and watch it. Right. Link below. But so I mean, everything's in here. We got our push to talks. We got yep. all this stuff yep. going on. We got yep. whip. Not on it, but it's, it's not on it. But it, there's but there's a little. Uh, well, mount. that's antenna here. Whip is back there. Yeah. Um, we oh. got the seat risers. I can see things. We um, got, uh, what Simpson, else? We got paddles Simpson on. Simpson harnesses. Yeah, we did. The, all these videos should be up. Mirrors. So we got the paddles that we put on with the wheel adapters for, so we get the bolt pattern change over yep. to Can Am. It has Can Am wheels on it. Yep. With one inch wheels. This car actually sets. So it's a 64 inch car, but by the time. Uh, with the wheel adapters and the offset of these wheels, it's about 73. Okay, so we're sitting a little bit, we're sitting pretty close to a stock uh, Can-Am at 72.7. Yeah. So about 0.3 inches wider than a stock Can-Am on dirt tires. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah. But, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, the, that looks like a much better position for you. Uh, yeah, me. I like it. I can see, um, you feel better about me being right here now? Yeah. So I can see your trail because I need to be in it. Yep. I need to follow the line. All right, so let's go out. Let's, okay, guys, go. so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for hanging out with us and 
joining us on this wild, crazy adventure that we call life. We appreciate it. We're finally going to have sand in our hair soon. Um, so stick around. If you haven't subscribed, please do. You're here watching. Just click the button while you're here. It does help us, and we do appreciate it. There's going to be lots of stuff coming pretty soon. All the time. Promise. We have some really cool stuff coming shortly. Um, if you are subscribed, you know how much we appreciate you, hopefully. I'm going to put links below to everything. At, at some point, there are links already below, though, to our Facebook group where we can talk with you, get to know you, and you can share your adventures with us. We want to hook up for rides with all of you guys and meet you in the sand. That's the point of this whole thing. Um, there's going to be links to our Patreon. If you want to join the Cool Kids Club, we'd appreciate it. This is what we love to do. We hope it comes across in the video. Um, we've been lucky enough to meet a lot of you, and we want to do that some more. So hopefully we see a lot of you guys next week when we're out at... Do I say it? Yeah. Yeah. UTV Takeover Oregon, Coos well, Bay. Well, here's the thing. That already happened. We already went there. Yeah. And it was so fun. Yeah. And you already saw a video on it, probably. Yeah, Who probably. Knows? So anyways, thank you guys for being with us. We have lots of stuff coming up. Now that parks are starting open, we're going to get back out there and start riding some more. I mean, our cars are decked out. We spent months and months in the garage just wrenching on stuff and adding parts more and more on top of parts. We're just going to freaking rip when we get out there. Um, so Pismo is going to be end of the month, but we're going to be in Glamis, so we're not going to do that. We're going to do that eventually. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. It does help us. We love hearing from you, so leave us a comment. We respond to everyone, mostly my hubby. He's, the, uh, he's amazing. Um, and if you hate it, we need to know that too. So first got to subscribe or your hate won't count, and then hit the dislike button two times. And I'll know how much you hate it. Four, six, eight. Only in multiples of two does it work. It's a weird thing, the algorithm that YouTube uses. I looked into it. So thank you guys so much. And uh, I think that's it. Peace. Peace.